hello guys Frida here welcome to my youtube channel basic girl reads where i review african literature be it fiction non-fiction poetry or children's book on today's video i am going to be reviewing two books based on some of the most profound men in african history or the forefathers of africa and that is number one julius Nyerere, who was from tanzania and number two Patrice Lumumba, who was from the Democratic Republic of Congo. So both of these books were written by the Ohio Short Histories of Africa, and it's like a collection of writers who actually, um, you know, go on, go out there and like research on all of these African leaders. So there are so many of them. There is one about uh, Thomas Sankara and there is one about Robert Mugabe, Tambo Beki, so many African leaders. And I was so interested in knowing because I wanted to know and understand all these people, you know, by myself, not only what I heard, because I thought, I, I didn't know about Patrice Lumumba until like a few years ago. And with uh, the other with Julius Senior, I actually thought he was in Melbourne. I'm not the only one, trust me. And um, through that, I got to know more of the leaders, and I'm going to like buy some of the books so that I can read them and I can review them. And you guys, you can also get to know more about your history as an African, or be it you know when you're in a certain African country for you to know more about your leaders because I don't think in African history, well, in Zimbabwe, that is, we never really got to learn deeper about African history it was more to do with European history I know it's messed up but I think it's very important for us to know our background to know all these great leaders these great men and women who fought for our independence and also what they carried on to us so to start with I'll be talking about Julius Senyerere and as a Zimbabwean and I know there are so many of young Zimbabweans especially the born free I know I'm not the only one who thought Julius Nyerere was Zimbabwean. Only because one, we never taught the history of Julius Nyerere, be it like Simsek or Cambridge. It was more of European history. I only got to know that Julius Nyerere was not from Zimbabwe like a few years ago because we have roads in Sim where there's Julius Nyerere, there's Samora Michelle. Samora Michelle is also not Zimbabwean, by the way. He's from Mozambique. So this was like a wake up call for me. And the reason why I chose to know about these uh, profound figures or the forefathers of Africa is because I really needed to understand what made them, who they were, why people were talking about them so much. So with Julius Nyerere, he's from Tanzania and he was a teacher and from being a teacher he ended up being um a president and he was the first president of tanzania after you know colonization and if you read the book he's a profound man he was like very encouraging and i'll read some of the quotes by him and some of the things that he used to do and what stood up for him is i've I had a friend who I was talking to and she was she sent me videos of uh, Julius Nyerere and what he used to do, what he used to stand for and education was one of the things he used to emphasize on. He encouraged his people to learn and he was a very humble man even the way that he used to live like he wasn't like these modern day leaders of in Africa. He wasn't a corrupt leader even if you see the videos of where he used to live. I know there's a video which I watched where his son was saying that he was so humble even now when people look at the house he used to live in they would not even have guessed that he was the president and with Patrice Lumumba I first came across a picture of him and I know this is a bit shallow but I thought he was a very good looking man okay and after I got to know more of him I actually got to understand that he was the first president in um was he president or was he prime So Jule Senyerere, who is also called Mwalimu, which is a teacher in Swahili, was a teacher and then he ended up becoming the first, the first Prime Minister of Tanzania and then the first President of Tanzania. He's also behind the merging of Zanzibar and Tanzania to become one country and he's known for, you know, um, encouraging his people to have a great education and he was the best president in Tanzania. I have a friend of mine who I was talking to and she was saying that 
everyone loved Julius Nyerere because he was a very peaceful and humble man and he put education above all he believed that his people they needed to learn even in the rural areas they got the same education as those in the cities and i just found that to be very interesting because i know and understand that education is very important not a, of course not everyone ends up going to like college or university but just having that basic you know that basic education it can take you far so far and um i like that the ohio short stories of uh short histories of africa they explain like from the beginning right to the end and if you're someone who's into politics or who wants to understand and to know more about these african leaders i would highly recommend these books because they take you step by step like from the beginning how they were before they actually became um these prominent figures and also like the hurdles that which they had to go through the trials and tribulations because you know like back then it was very hard especially as a black person but that is easier now but back then being the first was actually a very big deal so i would highly recommend if you want to know more about Julia Senior, i would highly recommend this book it's um not very big to be honest it's quite small fine print that is but obviously this is more for um it's i wouldn't say it's more of a leisure kind of book it's more about uh in education is more on the basis of education you know if you want to know more for serious people i would highly recommend this for you i enjoyed it i haven't i'm more i'm yet to read more of the um more of the books but i highly recommend this one patrice lumumba was actually the first prime minister of the democratic republic of congo and from what i've read and what i've come to know he died a gruesome death and that was in the hands of the belgians and the usa and because uh as a first of course you know he met so many struggles and they were opposing him because they didn't want the country to be decolonized because they were getting so much from the country minerals mines you know all of that and uh, i remember a few months ago there was actually an article in the bbc when they were saying that uh, his daughter was actually fighting to get his teeth back from the Belgian government so they still have his teeth in Belgium after you know his death it was it was gruesome it was really dark but you know in this book you get to know more about him get to understand more how he started you know being one of the black elites you know how he he kind of got to where he was because his life he was very um he was a very determined person and he taught he taught himself some of these things you know and from that he kind of grew i think he worked for an alcohol company if i'm not mistaken yeah he worked for an alcohol was it tobacco or alcohol between the two but he worked for a company and then from there onwards you know he could he go he went high and high and high and you could see his determination how he actually wanted his his country and his people to be decolonized from you know from belgium uh from Bel belgium's rule sorry slip of the tongue and um like i said before i know it's kind of shallow but i was what drew to me was like i thought he was very good looking that's why i was like hmm, let me read more about this man but there's actually there are actually deeper things there to know about him like his last letter to his wife before he was killed and he was only prime minister for like a year from 1960 to 61 and then he was killed so you can see how powerful he was and how how determined they were to get rid of him so i would encourage you if you're an african or if you're non-african who wants to know more about this amazing man in african history by all means please read this book and like the other one small fine print for those who like serious reading for those who want to think for those who want to be inspired i would highly recommend this book so yeah happy reading and enjoy